my name is Debbie and I want to help you with this confidence interval problem. First of all, this is a two sample uh, T interval problem. Um, so this is the general formula that you have to use. And this particular problem is interesting because they're giving you raw data instead of just giving you the statistics. So there's a little bit more complication as far as checking all of your assumptions. So I'm gonna to go to a new board here and just we'll document all of the assumptions. So first of all, we have to document that it's a simple random sample. And I'm just gonna say, yes, assume. They don't really state it, but um, typically it is. So just, we're gonna say, yes, assume. The next thing I have to do is check for um, the fact that I have a normal distribution for my two uh, my two pieces of data. So what you can do is enter all this data in your calculator into your table. So you would do that if you have a TI-84, you would do that by doing stat edit. And then you can do a histogram. And so for the histogram, um, let's see, we had the 4000 BC. In the histogram, what you do is you just do a quick little sketch of what the histogram looks like. And it looks kind of like this and I'm just doing a rough sketch and I'm just going to say approximately normal. And then um, for the other one, I think it was 150 AD. I'm going to sketch that histogram and this one looked kind of like this. And we're just going to say approximately normal. OK, um, and then the other thing, sometimes they want you to check for independence. And I'm just going to say assume both populations greater than or equal to 120 people, which is a pretty fair assumption. Okay, so now we have the formula for a confidence interval and we need to start filling in all of the numbers. So what's beautiful about the calculator is that you can do the confidence interval calculation right there and it will actually give you all of the values for the formula. The only thing we need to do right now is define what X1 is. So X1 is 4000 BC and X2 is going to represent the 150 AD. That's important because we need to uh, look at our numbers. So if you looked at the formula before, we're just going to fill in the numbers now. So what you do on your calculator is you go to um, stat test. I'll do that too, just so I can talk you through it. You go uh, stat test. And what you're looking for is the two sample T interval, which is zero two sample T interval. We're doing T not Z because we were not given population information. And now we just start filling in the numbers for the formula. So um, you just hit enter through everything. Uh, we're doing a 90% confidence interval. We do not pool in AP stats. And when you calculate, all of the numbers appear for you. So our X1 is going to be one 28.7, our X2 is 133. So we can see that the averages have a little bit of a difference. Um, you can go and calculate the T star by doing an inverse T uh, and you come up with 1.796 for degrees of freedom of 11. And then we're gonna fill in all of these numbers. And so S1 is 4.63. It's a three squared, and the sample size is 12. And S2 is going to be 5.015 all squared over the sample size of 12. Okay, and what we ended up coming up with in our confidence interval is we're going to get a value that's between negative 8.054 and negative 
1.28. This means that the average head size has actually gone up. The AD head sizes are larger because if I go uh, X1 minus X2, smaller minus larger is going to give you the negative size. And so you can say, yes, the head sizes have actually gone up with uh, the AD head sizes being approximately uh, eight point or 1.28 inches to 8 inches larger. I hope this helps and thank you very much. Please think of me when you need someone to tutor you on statistics.